His name rises from every single corner as one thinks about the great and successful football players. He's not ensuring any introduction, as he's accomplished all the respect and name and fame. And he is none other than our very own Cristiano Ronaldo, one of the best football players of all time. Cristiano Ronaldo has figured out how to accomplish pretty much everything imaginable. From the Champion League to La Liga, Premier League, and endless different prizes, Ronaldo has done it all. Being a remarkable player, Ronaldo has substantiated himself to be the big cheese of the game for quite some while. Uh, I don't know why everyone wants to be the big cheese. Cheese smells. Tastes good, though. Anyways, our cheese man Ronaldo joined Manchester United as a 19-year-old and immediately set a concrete foundation for himself where he, later on, stunned the watchers with his astounding abilities from just speed, power, to, to dribbling, to his astonishing flying ability and dead ball subject matter expert. Yeah, you heard that right. He can fly. He also has telekinesis, he has teleportation, and I'm delusional. His improvements from a football wonder to a top-notch ability occurred in United as he improved his with each passing season and his last winning to the award of Best Player on the Planet in 2008. Following remarkable run with the Red Devils, Ronaldo finished his fantasy move to Spain and satisfied his desire to wear the shades of Real Madrid, where he achieved two more Ballon d'Ors and one La Decima as well, as well as La Undecima for the Capital Club. His performance is truly a feast for the eyes, which, during which he's quite often outdone his opponents. So in this video, let us bring you the spice of the 10 great opponents while Ronaldo humiliated during a game. Without further ado, let's drop some bodies. Cristiano Ronaldo was expected to go head-to-head -head against Barcelona's guard when he appeared in Spain. Carlos Puyol, one of uh, Catalina's heroes and best focus backs ever, was driving the back line for the Blaugranas. As a great warrior for his group who built exceptional professional position, Carlos Puyol was enduring driver for his side and drove back the line for Barca under Pep Guardiola. He's majorly known for his situating, stamping rivals. Carlos Puyol has figured out how to contain the Portuguese while facing Ronaldo in quite a few instances, and that's a rare feat. Nobody has ever figured out how to contain the Portuguese. So Ronaldo's wide scope of abilities has made it challenging for a steed like Puyol to keep him on the ground, as he's also been outdone or outfoxed by the previous Manchester United man. Chester, not just man. Sergio Busquets made his professional space in Barcelona's midfield throughout recent years. As a 27-year-old who came up through La Masia's positions, he's been discarded quite a few times in the conversation of Barca's brilliant age close by high-profile names like Messi, Javi, and Iniesta. Despite that, Busquets has been majorly significant for the Catalonia outfit, while assuming the part of the anchorman in Barca's midfield trio has been a vital part of Barca's booming tiki-taka reasoning. That's so fun to say, tiki-taka, tiki-taka. <laughs> Anyways, the Blaugrana midfielder is, is, has his considerable share of arguments against Cristiano Ronaldo in the classical experiences as he was dependent upon with the watchful duties when Barca didn't have the ball. The Spaniard was strikingly outflanked by the Real Madrid winger in the first gathering itself as Ronaldo cleverly nutmegged him and figured out how to go past him. In the days of Manchester United, Cristiano Ronaldo stood against Chelsea's left-back Ashley Cole quite a few times, and it was one of the great profile clashes of the Premier League in those times. Chelsea holds the right to flaunt its ability to keep Ronaldo under control as the Portuguese have simply figured out how to score once in an aggregate of 15 games against Stamford Bridge outfit. This is for sure an extraordinary accomplishment, thinking about how deadly the, the three-time Ballon d'Or winner was with the Red Devils. Ashley Cole established an appreciable representation for reputation for himself, rather, I'm so sorry, my, my audience, established a reputation for himself as one of England's and the world's best fullbacks at that point, as he played for the Blues since joining Arsenal. It was continuously intriguing to watch a duel between these two, with each having their own snapshot of magnificence. With his skill and pace, Ronaldo has often tried to move beyond his opponent Ashley Cole, and Ashley Cole has been his subject in a couple of events. The England Global during a cordial game against Portugal was to a great extent distressed by the Real Madrid man, and in one case, he was all around the ground attempting to obstruct everyone's his, his conveyance to the 18-yard region. He likewise confronted a similar destiny during one of United Premier League matches against Chelsea. So as we can all easily eyewitness, the biggest division of fans has been rightfully done by Cristiano Ronaldo and Lionel Messi, as their presence has given birth to one of the greatest rivalries in the sports field, idiot. Academics will be studying this rivalry for ages. So gradually, the competition started to grow when United confronted Barca in the 2009 Champions League final. 
with a stage that was set to observe who's better, Messi passed the Portuguese and he was on, a, on the huge stage and conveyed Europe's most tip-top prize to his side in exhibition that procured him his first Ballon d'Or, uh, accordingly ousting his foe with the world's best player. When Ronaldo was transferred to Real Madrid, this accelerated the rivalry as he was to stand against Messi in the football's biggest battle, El Clasico. Due to the spiciest presence of their rivalry, the sport turned out to be the most watched round of the game. While both having enlisted themselves into the record books of classical matches, the distinction in their playing positions and jobs enormously denies the crowd from encountering a head-to-head -head match between them. So what's more, one of them incorporates Ronaldo outsmarting the Argentine as he cunningly executed a controlled chip move to get past his enemy. Ronaldo continued to go in full steam and must have been fouled by the Barca guard to stop his run. Since their Manchester United days, Cristiano Ronaldo and Gerard Pique have come a long way from being former teammates to best rivals at the present age. Pique returned to his homeland when he failed to carve his name at the Old Trafford and broke into Barcelona's beginning XI under administrator Pep Guardiola, who started the course of building another transition at Catalonia. On the other hand, Ronaldo changed himself into a group top among United fans and his childhood fantasy about being a real part of Real Madrid's Galacticos crew triggered him to uh, move to Spain in 2009. And the Portuguese at last allowed his desire to breathe and he got to play at the Santiago Bernabeu. This move turned the former companions into rivals as Ronaldo and Pique were on far edges of the footballing globe's greatest conflict in El Clasico. Since the five seasons, these both have come face to face, and Ronaldo has pressed his rival on quite a few occasions, like uh, like on the Supercopa de España second leg experience in 2012 to 2013 season at the Bernabeu, where Ronaldo's astonishing back flick tricked the 28-year-old and went past him to score the second goal of the game. Ronaldo also outmaneuvered Peak in one uh, in a one-on-one -on -one match during his goal in Portugal's 4-1 win over Spain in 2010. Diego Simon is an Argentine professional football manager and a former player who played as a midfielder. In Juventus, Ronaldo suffered a devastating loss after which Diego Simon picked up the moment and displayed a taunting move. And, and not even that, the situation was made worse when he targeted his statement at Ronaldo that he'll sell watermelons on the street of Madrid if he was able to pull a comeback that day. With the idea of revenge and humiliation, Ronaldo in his very next match made a hat trick and won Juventus all by himself, after which he displayed the same taunting action that which was made by Diego Simone. Although later he was foolishly fined 22 grand for humiliation that he threw at Diego, which is weird that that went one way. Anyways, this move has been one of the greatest comebacks of the football field. In Ronaldo's match against Roma, he lost the game, but he made a new enemy. Alessandro Florenzi is an Italian professional footballer. During the break of the match, Cristiano Ronaldo displayed a sign of misbehavior by practically telling Alessandro to be quiet. In effect of which, Alessandro refused to be quiet. I mean, I would. <laughs> what do you want? I don't have to do anything you say. Whee! Yeah, I would get pretty annoying. Not only that, but Ronaldo has made fun of his height and actually called him a dwarf. That is super mean, man. Go on. This conduct infuriated Alessandro when he was held back by his teammates. However, this didn't last much longer, and the fire was put to cool down by the exchange of a hug. The Roma player scored the first goal in Roma's victory, and was also criticized the behavior of CR7 in front of Sky Sport Italia. At the time when United and Arsenal were in a game against each other, Henry tried to get hard at Cristiano, which doesn't sound right. I mean, I'm also trying to get hard at Cristiano, but that's different. During the break, Henry pushed him where he was... I'm so sorry, everybody. That was terrible. During the break, Henry pushed him, and when he was trying to get the ball back, full of rage, Ronaldo remained patient and waited for his talent to prevail upon his opponent. He scored the equalizer with a tight left foot finish. He was Ronaldo's opponent one and a half years ago. Justin Hoyt had a great football career, but is mostly known as Ronaldo's opponent of 2008, when Ronaldo tried to ridicule Hoyt during a clash between United and Arsenal in the Premier League, which played at the Old Trafford Stadium. To ensure the time given to United, he took the piss out of Arsenal substitutes by spraying full 12 seconds. Hoyt took this to heart and avenged himself, getting a yellow card for kicking a former sports Lisbon starlet. Stephen Davis is to become Northern Ireland's outfield footballer and an opponent of Ronaldo. Michael O'Neill pays tribute to the 34-year-old player by scoring for Portugal against Serbia at the weekend. 
And with this, sadly, my football loving fans, the video comes to an end. So don't forget to like, subscribe, do all that fun stuff for more factual videos where I also randomly insert my opinions in there because, hey man, if I'm gonna talk for 10 minutes, I might as well be spicy and opinionated, you know? Anyways, share this video with all the soccer junkies that you know and, or sorry, oh, I'm so sorry, football junkies that you know. And um, yeah, again, if, the, if you like this video, didn't like the video. It's the button is named after the thing that we do, liking things. Anyways, later.